Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Beacons AI website builder. And more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video. And that is how do you create a website in Beacons AI for free? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to create a website in Beacons AI anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that Beacons AI is a popular way to have a link in bio. They also offer a free website builder service. Of course, there are paid options, like if you want a custom domain, but if you just want a simple, quick, free website, you can build it in your Beacons AI account. And it's all handled here in your Beacon dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Beacons account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to set up a website in your Beacons account, you want to click down here on the left, this button here called website. Once you do that, you're going to see all the websites you might've created with Beacons. You can see I have this one right here. Now, if you want to create a new website, you want to click on this blue button here, new website. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to see all the different templates that are available in Beacons. So you can kind of scroll through and then see which one fits with your brand, or you can start from scratch. So this would just be a blank template. For me, I like to start off with a little bit put together. So let's see here. I kind of like this one. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Okay. Next is going to show you a preview of what your website's going to look like in Beacon. So this looks pretty good and we can go ahead and edit this also. So changing the pictures, the colors. So let me go ahead and use template. Okay. So here we are in the website builder editor inside beacons. So first off, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and decide how many pages you want in your website. So if we want this to be two pages, we're going to click up here on website. And then here we're going to go ahead and rename this page. So this is a home page. So let's say Anthony home, and then we can go ahead and add another page by clicking on this button. And then you can go ahead and click on add a blank page, or you can add an external link if you want. So if you want to refer to an affiliate link or something like that, you can do that here. Just click there and then add the link in title. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and add a regular page. So add a blank page and then page two. I'm going to rename it to Anthony resources page. Okay. And then that way you can see we have a second page up here and you can add more pages if you want. For me, two pages is just enough. So what we're going to do is go to the home page by clicking on there. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and edit this out. So these pages are built in sections. So this is one section, as you can see, there's a blue line around it. And then we can click here in the second section, fourth section, fifth section, and you can add more sections if you want. So you just click up here, add section, and you can choose what type of section you're going to add. So is it going to be a product section? Is it going to be a lead magnet? Maybe it's going to be your Instagram feed. For me, these sections are just fine. So I'm going to close this out and we're going to go ahead and edit each section. So here on the top, so we have this box where the section highlighted in blue. Once you do that on the right, you're going to see the edit areas. So my business is not called Vogue Vibes. So I'll change this to maybe my channel name, Make Money Anthony. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Now, if the wording is a little too big for you, you can click on heading size and change that to small. So it's a little bit smaller. We'll leave it on large and the subheading that says Make Money Anthony, Let's Get Beautiful. Let's go ahead and change that to Let's Get some money. Okay. And then the button says shop my fave beauty products. So we'll do buy my program today. Okay. And where is the button going to go to? You can go ahead and put this to an affiliate link or to your website or something like that. That's up to you. So maybe you want to go ahead and redirect them to google.com. And you want them to open into a new tab or open in the same tab. For me, normally I'll choose open it in a new tab. Okay. If you want to add another button, you can do that here. For me, I'm not going to do that. Now we want to be sure to see what this looks like on mobile. So up here on the top left, we'll click on mobile and this is the mobile version. Okay. Go back to desktop. Sorry, right, I got to do that again. Okay. So next, this woman right here is obviously not me. So we're going to go ahead and change her. So here on the right, we're going to click on design. Okay. So here is the woman and we're just going to click on this little image of her. And then we're going to go ahead and upload an image so we can change her. Okay. I chose a picture. It's uploading right now. Okay. A quick second later, you see it refreshes. So that actually looks pretty good. So we're done with one section and then all you're going to do is just go down section by section. So here we'll go ahead and change her out, maybe change the word and build it into your brand. Now, one last thing you might want to do is you might want to change the color scheme. So it's kind of like this turquoise color. So click on design and then here we can click on palette and we can go ahead and change it around here. So you can choose whichever one is more in tune with your brand. Okay. So that looks pretty good. So it seems like a lot of work right from the beginning. However, this is something that you're usually going to set up just one time and maybe think edits every once in a while. And then down here on the email capture form, we can go ahead and click in here and then we can go ahead and edit the form. So here's the form field. So maybe I just want the name and the phone number, or maybe just the name and the email. We can go ahead and delete the phone number and we can go ahead and rearrange these fields. So usually I like to have the name on top. So I'll drag that up and that way ask for the name right here, the email, and then here on the custom favorite beauty brand, I'm going to change that. So click on this little arrow and we'll put best ways to make 
money. Okay. And then where is the form going to go? We're going to click on submit. So get my ebook now. Okay. And then here, this is the success message. So we'll go ahead and put check your email success. Okay. And once they submit that button, you want to scroll to the top and then click on responses. Okay. Here you can go ahead and choose how they are going to get a response. So for me, they're going to get a 21 tip cheat sheet that we created right here. And then lastly, once you are done setting up all of your sections, once again, be sure to check the mobile version to make sure it looks okay, because sometimes it's going to be kind of out of place or off center. But for me, that looks pretty good. So next to what you want to do is click on publish here on the top right. But before you do that, make sure that you check on the settings right here, this gear icon, and we can do title. We'll change that maybe to my title of my channel name, make money, Anthony, and then here a description. So this is used in Google and other search engines, how to make money online. And then if you have the paid version, you can go ahead and hide the logo. You can go ahead and update the favicon right here if you want. Okay. So I'm going to put that as my favicon. Okay. You see the favicon change. Okay. Now for this website, you can go ahead and connect your Google analytics or your Facebook pixel right here. You just paste it right in. Okay. I think we're ready to go ahead and publish our website on beacon. So let's click on publish here on the top, right? Okay. Now it says that my website is live. So you can see it's a variation of the beacons AI website. Now, if you want to go ahead and customize it, you can do that by clicking in here and then you can get a free domain as of right now. Beacons is offering that, or if you already have a domain, you can go ahead and connect it here by clicking. Now the free domain is only for the first year. So you will have to pay for that over and over again after the first year. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, if you want the link to your website, what you're going to do is go back. Okay. Here we are back in the dashboard. So you'll just click on websites here on the left, and then it's going to show a list of your websites, which is the one we just built. And what you're going to do is just click on this link right here and right click it. And then you can go ahead and copy the link. Okay. So there you have it. That is our website that we built in Beacons AI. It's a free website. So as you can see, this kind of looks pretty cheesy, this link. So if you are going to be using this as a professional website, you definitely want to go ahead and update and upgrade into a typical domain. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to create or make a website in Beacons AI, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.